Well, since we, you know, if, if we get the idea that building, uh, improving our stroke length, then imprinting the stroke length that we have, and then learning in a variety of somewhat stressful situations, um, either where we need to go faster or we're distracted by a lot of people, to be able to calmly hold and have that thing so locked into our nervous system that it won't break, all right? So we want to have a process for doing that. And a good starting point is to know your personal efficiency range. Now, this is just sort of a rough estimate. It's not rigidly, you know, it's not a rigid thing. But, but basically, if you're a particular height, you want to have a sense, all right, that there's a range of strokes in a 25-yard pool. You can adapt to a 25-meter pool, all right? There's a range of strokes that is right for you. And you'll notice there's a four-stroke range for each height. <coughs> And so, for instance, I'm six feet tall, all right, so my range would be, would be 14 to 17. And the idea is that it allows you to have a clear target, a very specific target, a benchmark for yourself that feels personal, all right, where I can aim for this, and at the top end of the range, you're at a place where you're, you know, your balance skills aren't great yet, your streamlining skills aren't great yet, you're still kind of in a developing swimmer. Um, but you know at least if I aim for this, <coughs> it's appropriate to me. And you know, a, a big difference here, again from that workout I put up before, uh, that I took off the internet, um, is that it's personalized. All right? How many of you have been to a master's practice or got something off the internet and so on and felt that there was anything personalized that was meant for you? All right? For the most part, all the workouts you see are just canned. They're just based on formulas, and you know, there's sort of a faith that if I do this for some, some magical way, I'll get, I'll get faster. I think it's really important to feel you can get a lot more confidence when, when something is personalized. So in any case, at the beginning of your development as a swimmer, you aim to be at the top end, of, uh, top end of that range. And anytime you're not in that range, you're going to adjust your practice to allow you to be in that range. How far you swim, how fast you swim, how long you rest, all of these things are adjustable. You know, when you see the canned workout, it's like you're in this box. You got to do 10 100s on 130. Ready, go. All right. And, and the thing is, well, why not 75s? And why are we doing 10 rather than 8? And why is it on 130 rather than 140? Is there some guarantee that if I do 10 100s on 130, I'm going to get faster? But if I do 875s on 30 seconds rest, I won't? All right? And, and the thing is, if you're not in that range, if you're above that range, all those decisions are driven by that. Because if you don't make those decisions on that basis, all you're doing is imprinting inefficiency. All right, and, and we already know that that is the thing that's keeping you from, from swimming faster. 